Day 300 Expanded Passage, Philippians 3 Nothing less than total commitment. Read. Read the passage two times, slowly. Philippians 3, verses 15-21 through 21. So let's keep focused on that goal, those of us who want everything God has for us. If any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You'll see it yet. Now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. Stick with me, friends. Keep track of those you see running this same course, headed for this same goal. There are many out there taking other paths, choosing other goals, and trying to get you to go along with them. I've warned you of them many times. Sadly, I'm having to do it again. All they want is Easy Street. They hate Christ's cross. But Easy Street is a dead-end street. Those who live there make their bellies their gods. Belches are their praise. All they can think of is their appetites. But there's far more to life for us. We're citizens of high heaven. We're waiting the arrival of the Savior, the Master, Jesus Christ, who will transform our earthly bodies into glorious bodies like His own. He'll make us beautiful and whole with the same powerful skill by which He is putting everything as it should be, under and around Him. Think. Read again what Paul says about total commitment. Write down honestly what you feel and think about it, without judging your own reaction. Now, read again what Paul says about those who are choosing other goals in life, rather than knowing Jesus. What thoughts, memories, or feelings do you have as you read this? Jot them down. Finally, read again, paying special attention to what Christians have to look forward to. What does this make you feel? Note the promise that evokes the greatest response in you. Live. Think about a circumstance in your life that frustrates you with its monotony or pointlessness. Once again, become aware of the goal in this passage, a simple and trusting openness to God and total commitment to what He has for you. Now, consider the following statement by Oswald Chambers. The spiritual saint never believes circumstances to be haphazard or thinks of his life as secular and sacred. He sees everything he is dumped down in as the means of securing the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Do you believe that the God who intends to make you beautiful and whole is the same God who has allowed your circumstance? Why or why not? Pray. Ask Jesus to help you become totally committed to wanting everything God has for you. Ask Him to help you recognize and avoid taking other paths, choosing other goals. Thank Him that there's far more to life for you.